Hi, so welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about hydrogen bonding and how to identify a hydrogen bond donor and a hydrogen bond acceptor. So I've drawn up some water molecules and an NH3 molecule to help with the discussion. So first of all, what is hydrogen bonding? So hydrogen bonding is when you have an electronegative atom that has a hydrogen attached directly to it and that interacts with another molecule that's close by, but specifically with an electronegative atom on that molecule. So let's draw on another water molecule down here. So hydrogen bonds are usually represented by a dashed line. So you can see that we have a dashed line interacting with this oxygen, so electronegative atom of an a molecule close by. So this here is your hydrogen bond. So this oxygen on this water molecule that has the hydrogen directly bonded to it covalently is the hydrogen bond donor because it's donating its hydrogen. And this oxygen here that's on the water molecule that's close by in solution that's accepting or forming that partial bond, which we call a hydrogen bond, is the hydrogen bond acceptor. So the donor has the hydrogen bond and the acceptor is accepting that hydrogen bond. And that's where the dashed line's going to. So if we look at another example here, so we've got NH3, we've got water molecule. So if I was to draw in a line like this, so that's my dashed line. This is my oxygen, that's my hydrogen attached, interacting with this nitrogen, which is another electronegative atom that can hydrogen bond. Which one would be the donor and which one would be the acceptor? So remember the hydrogen that's attached to the electronegative atom covalently, this would be the donating functional group, so the hydrogen bond donor. And the one that's accepting in that partial bond is the hydrogen bond acceptor. So the NH3 is a hydrogen bond acceptor. So this relationship can work, work both ways. So you can have the NH3 being the hydrogen bond donor and the water being the hydrogen bond acceptor. So I'll draw that example out. So now we've got an NH3 and a water molecule. Now, if this one was donating, one of the hydrogens, it doesn't matter which one, would be interacting with the oxygen. So let's just draw a dashed line here. Could have drawn them in a better angle, but this is now the hydrogen bond donor because it's donating its hydrogen. It's not giving it up, but it's donating it to make the hydrogen bond. And this oxygen here is accepting that hydrogen. So it's the hydrogen bond acceptor. So these are weak interactions, hydrogen bonds, but they can add up to quite a lot, particularly with large molecules, and they influence the solubility and the way that compounds behave in certain situations and certain solutions. So that's a quick little rundown on hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond acceptors, and how to identify a hydrogen bond. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.